by Buddy and Tracy Sykes. Bryce is a member of the Inland Castle Cross Country Team, the Basketball Team, Shelby County 4-H Club, the State Dairy Judging Team, Kentucky Cattlemen's Association, and the Agriculture Club. After high school, Bryce went on attending Eastern Kentucky University to study agriculture and the camp. Congratulations, Bryce. Devin Armstrong. Wow, good team of Seven is being honored by his family, Melissa Jones, Jessica Armstrong, and Larry Armstrong. In addition to playing football, Devin participates in choir. After my school, Devin plans on getting a business with me. Congratulations, Devin. Maya Delta. Maya is being honored by her family. David and Amanda Dalton. Maya is involved in Senior Beta Club, FCA, and Senior Club. She's a member of the yearbook staff, a producer for media arts, and the senior class vice president. After high school, Maya plans to attend college and major in business administration. Hey you, you wanna make videos? Are you tired of using QuickTime Player and Photo Boost's mediocre recording skills? Well my friend, let me introduce you to OBS Studio! OBS is a completely 100% free software that allows so much beautiful recording options, including adjusting the volume of the desktop and the microphone audio separately, recording smaller sections of the screen, including images in the recording all along of that, and finally live streaming, you heard me right! Live streaming! I'm talking full on live streaming! Talking Twitch levels of live stream! And it's all completely free on Windows, Mac, and wait, people still use Linux? I'd tell you more, but this is supposed to be a minute long, including credits, and wait, how long is this? Hey, it's Mariah and Alexis and welcome to our vlog. Hey guys, it's Aubrey. Um, I'm eating my sandwich. We're getting ready for the game. There's Alexis, Millie, Laylin, Jenna. We're ready. Eat, eat good. So, and then we have Laylin and Jenna. We're doing hair. Getting ready for the game. We're ready, aren't we, Laylin? Yeah. So, it's Alexis and Millie. Yay! <laughs> we're on the bus about to go to Carroll County. <laughs> um, we're excited. We're gonna do that good. Um, on the bus, we can only have 11 players. So we have to take two buses. We have to wear masks the whole time. And yeah, Millie, how do you think the game's gonna go? I think we're gonna do amazing and play our hearts out. I think we're gonna do good. We had a really good game last night, so hopefully we'll take the win. What about you, Layla? Aubrey here with um, the rest of the JV peoples. Um, how do you feel after the dub? Pretty great. great. Like yeah. Yeah. Pretty great. How do you think we did? We did good. good. Are you ready to be Owen tomorrow? Yes. yes. Hey, it's Adrian. And it's Sinestra. And to start off the vlog, Chiba just picked me up from my house and we're gonna go to team. Okay, so we just got to the wet. We gotta put our stuff down. We're gonna go eat and then we have to get ready and get tape and stuff. Alright, so we got team milk. It's lasagna and what's it called? Garlic bread. Yeah, it's fine. meal, you know? Next, after we do this, we'll do uh, like a 30, 45 minute rest and then we'll start taping and start head up the field and do warm ups. Uh, now we're back. All we gotta do right now is just get ready for the game and just get hyped. Alright, so I'm ready for the game. Hey guys, welcome to the end of our vlog. Aubrey's not here, but thanks for watching. Bye. 
and Talia and I are going to be talking about the new gym. So, we got a chance to interview Mr. Barry about the new gym. Uh, although we couldn't get him face to face um, and take a tour of the gym, we got time to ask him some questions about the new gym that's coming along in spring of 2021. So the first question I asked was, what's your opinion on how the new gym is gonna turn out? And Mr. Barry answered as the nicest single A gym in Kentucky and one of the nicest gyms overall in Kentucky. So that is a big advantage for just a school in general. Uh, the next question I asked was, when do you assume it's going to be done? And like I said, uh, he said it will be done uh, the spring of 2021. Um, but we have two other questions and I'm going to pass it on to Talia. So we asked Buddy Barry a couple other questions about the new gym. So another question we asked him was, what's the coolest part about the new gym? He said that there's going to be really good lighting and there's going to be chair backs for everyone. And we also asked him what's very different about the new gym compared to the old gym. He said we're going to have like a training room built to it. Um, the gym is going to be much bigger, much more space than the old one for everyone. And so that's all that we've asked him. Um, pretty much all we asked. Thank you for watching. The magic is only in what books say. How they stitched the pageants of the universe together into one garment just for us. There must be something in books. Something we can't even imagine or don't understand. There must be something in there that we need to understand now, before it's too late. I'm excited about for this year is getting to see my friends and not having to do online school for the rest of the year, hopefully. I'm really excited to go back to school and see all of my friends. So one thing that my teachers are doing that's helping me get through this current situation is contacting me as soon as I contact them. So I don't have to wait days to get a response. They automatically send me an email or a remind back. Some things our teachers are doing to help with the situation is just like checking in on us during um, class and making class really fun and lighthearted for everybody. One positive thing about this situation at the moment is that I get to learn from home so I'm comfortable about wearing anything I want and getting my work done on time. Some positive things about our current situation is that we have a bit more free time to just kind of hang out and do the things that we normally didn't have time to do and just like be kids. Precautions has the school taken inside the building due to COVID-19? Okay, so there's a lot of precautions that we've taken inside the school building. Uh, main one being the masks. Um, they've got to be worn all day, um, every day in classes, and we just need to do that so we can make sure that we can actually come to school, because I know a lot of you guys want to come to school. 
Um, other precautions, there's going to be some changes with how we do passing period in the middle and high, um, and restroom breaks, and we're sanitizing classrooms after each class is in and out of there. Um, the bathrooms are being cleaned multiple times a day. There are all kinds of things that are behind the scenes that we're having to clean and take care of. So there are a lot a lot of changes um, and those are just a few that we've uh, discussed on that part but even class sizes class sizes have changed we're not going to be as full as we used to be um, and we're all spread apart and we're even looking at lunches lunches are going to be different too so so many different things that are going to be changed and how we sanitize and clean everything too how does change the way school works Okay, so for middle and high, the way it's gonna change, instead of doing our six period day, traditional six period day, we're doing the a the blue day, red day, um, having four blocks a day. That's to help to pull the class sizes down. Um, it also limits for the contact tracing each day. Um, so that helps us out in that manner. Um, even though the class periods are longer, we're changing that. Um, Fridays, we're still going to be off on most of the Fridays. There's still some Fridays we have to do to meet instructional minutes. But um, the the longer weekend helps to sanitize the building too in a natural way, even though we'll be sanitizing the whole building when everybody leaves on Thursday. Um, so that's the structure of the day. Like I said, before passing periods are going to be shorter because we don't want you guys lingering out in the hallways, but you're gonna have masks up anyway. Um, and then restroom breaks are gonna be taken care of during the class period. And then we're gonna sanitize those bathrooms too multiple times throughout the day. So that, and lunches will be a little different. Um, you know, the way, way we have to sit, we're not gonna be able to pile six people up around the circle tables, it's gonna be spread out. So that's gonna change a little bit of our structure. Was it a hassle trying to figure out ways to protect students inside the building without changing the time, dynamic of everything? I wouldn't say it was a hassle because um, our first priority is uh, safety of all our students. So it was more of how can we do things differently and make sure we have everything covered and um, making sure the students are safe. Um, even though we realize that most of you guys have hung out together all summer, we still have to do the social distancing, everything that the governor is requiring us to do. Um, so all it was is just figuring out what we needed to do, and we just did it. Doing the eminence way, we figure out a way to do it. So let's say it was a hassle. Um, we just need to make sure we have everything prepared, like the extra mask, the hand sanitizer, um, you know, and taking temperatures, having all the temperature checked stations in, in the building so um, I wouldn't say it was a hassle it was just I mean it, it was time consuming but we're making sure you know student safety is our priority what are some of the major things that you have changed in school okay so major things that we've changed uh, we've got all the temperature stations and the hand sanitizers um, as we come into school uh, oh that you guys are going to need to get a video before we go into lunch. One of the major changes is a hand sanitizing station where you stick your hands in there and it washes your hands and sanitizes them all at once. Everybody's going to go through that before they go up through the lunch line. Um, and that's pretty awesome. And obviously the classroom spacing, you know, the desk inside the classrooms, the structure of our day now is changed. That's a major change. Um, but everything else is, is pretty much the same and sanitizing more frequently than what we were doing before. So um, we're just excited to get you guys back. Most people are excited to get back to school and hoping that other recommendations will not be put out. In daily COVID update on September 15th, the governor stated if the COVID rate is below 6% around September 28th, he would not make a recommendation for school closures. What do you think our school will do? So, and that's a that's a big question. Um, you know, a lot of us hope that we get to come back. Um, if the governor recommends that we don't, I'm not sure what we'll do. That's going to be the decision on the superintendent and the board. Um, I think as long as we have our masks on, 
uh, like even at the sporting events that have already been happening uh, without you guys coming face to face. Um, and we do what we need to do in school to keep you guys safe and keep your family safe. Um, I'm hoping that we are back on the 28th. That's my, my personal hope. But, um, you know, we just got to wait and see and see how the numbers are and go by the governor's recommendation. And then it'll get turned over to the board and the superintendent to ultimately make that decision.